Do you know the 10 things you should never do to your dog? This is more than just trivia. It's crucial knowledge for anyone who shares their life with a canine companion. Dogs aren't just pets, they're family. And just like any family member, they have needs, wants, and feelings that deserve respect and understanding. Today we're going to delve into the top 10 things that you should avoid doing to ensure your dog's happiness and well-being. Some of these might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how many dog owners overlook them. Others might be new to you, but they're all backed by expert advice and scientific research. Understanding these points can dramatically improve your relationship with your dog. It can make you a better pet parent, and most importantly, it can make your dog's life so much better. So, without further ado, let's dive right into it, starting with number 10. At number 10, we have neglecting regular exercise. Much like humans, our furry friends need their daily dose of physical activity. Exercise isn't just about keeping your dog's weight in check, it also helps regulate their mood and energy levels, and promotes overall well-being. When we neglect this crucial aspect of their care, we potentially open the door to health issues, such as obesity, heart conditions, and even anxiety or depression. To ensure your dog gets enough exercise, consider their breed, age, and health. A game of fetch, a brisk walk around the neighborhood, or a run in the park can do wonders for their physical and mental health. If your schedule is tight, consider enlisting the help of a dog walker or a pet-friendly daycare. Remember, it's not just about the quantity, but also the quality of exercise. So never underestimate the power of a good romp in the park. Coming in at number nine is overfeeding your dog. Sure, those puppy eyes can be hard to resist, but giving in to them too often can lead to serious health issues. Overfeeding can cause obesity in dogs, just as it can in humans. And much like humans, obesity in dogs can lead to a host of other problems. Heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis are all common in overweight dogs and can significantly shorten their lifespan. And let's not forget, an overweight dog might struggle to do the things dogs love most, like running, playing fetch, or going for a swim. So think twice before you give in to those begging eyes. Those extra treats and servings may seem like a way to show your love, but in the long run, they could be doing more harm than good. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to feeding your furry friend. Number eight on our list is ignoring your dog's dental health. Just like humans, dogs also require regular dental care. It's not just about fresh breath, but it's also a matter of health. Neglecting your dog's dental hygiene can lead to plaque buildup, bad breath, and in severe cases, gum disease or even tooth loss. Did you know that dental problems can also lead to more serious health issues in dogs? This includes heart disease and kidney problems. Yes, you heard that right. The bacteria in your dog's mouth can enter their bloodstream and affect their major organs. Scary, isn't it? But don't worry, maintaining your dog's dental health is not rocket science. Regular brushing at home, combined with professional cleanings at the vet, can go a long way in ensuring a happy and healthy mouth for your furry friend. So don't forget to brush those canines. Number seven is skipping regular vet visits. Now let's dive into why this is a no-no. Regular vet visits are the cornerstone of maintaining your furry friend's health. These checkups typically involve a comprehensive physical examination, vaccinations, and preventive care for fleas, ticks, and heartworms. It's also an opportunity for you to discuss any concerns or observations you've made about your pet's health or behavior. Neglecting these visits can lead to undetected health problems that may escalate into serious conditions. Just like us, dogs can develop a variety of health issues from dental diseases to heart conditions, and early detection is key. Remember, our canine companions can't tell us when something's wrong, and certain symptoms might not be noticeable until it's too late. Don't underestimate the value of regular vet visits. They're an essential part of your dog's well-being. After all, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. A checkup now can save a lot of heartache later. At number six, we have neglecting to train your dog. Now, training isn't just about teaching your furry friend to sit, stay, or roll over on command. It is, in fact, one of the most essential aspects of raising a happy, healthy, and well-adjusted dog. Training your dog provides mental stimulation, which keeps their mind sharp and active. It's like solving a crossword puzzle for them. They love the challenge, and it helps keep them engaged. Training is also about safety. A well-trained dog will know how to behave in different situations, reducing the risk of accidents or mishaps. Imagine having a dog that obeys when you say stop at a busy intersection. That's the power of good training. Plus, training enhances the overall behavior of your dog. It helps in curbing undesirable habits like excessive barking, chewing, 
or jumping on guests. Remember, a well-trained dog is a happy dog. So invest time and effort in training your canine companion. It's worth every second. Halfway there, at number five, we have leaving dogs alone for long periods. Dogs are social animals and they thrive on interaction and companionship. When left alone for extended periods, they can experience loneliness, anxiety, and even depression. This can lead to destructive behaviors such as excessive barking, chewing, and digging. It's not just about being physically present either. Dogs need mental and emotional engagement too. Now, we understand that life gets busy, and sometimes you can't avoid leaving your dog alone. But there are ways to manage this. Consider hiring a dog walker or a pet sitter. Or perhaps a trusted friend or neighbor wouldn't mind popping in for a visit. Even leaving interactive toys or puzzles can help to keep your dog mentally stimulated. And remember, while some alone time is okay, it's important to balance it with quality time spent together. Always remember, your dog needs your company. Coming in at number four is yelling or using physical punishment. Let's be clear, this is not just about being unkind, it's about inflicting harm on your furry friend. You see, dogs are incredibly sensitive creatures. Yelling or physical punishment can cause them to become fearful, anxious, and even aggressive. Now you might be wondering, if I can't yell or physically punish my dog, how do I discipline them? Well, the answer lies in positive reinforcement. Instead of punishing bad behavior, reward good behavior. Praise your dog when they do something right. This not only strengthens your bond, but also encourages your dog to repeat the behavior. If your dog is being particularly difficult, remember that patience is key. It may take time, but with consistency, your dog will learn what's expected. So instead of resorting to yelling or physical punishment, try patience and understanding instead. Patience and understanding can go a long way. Number three on our list is ignoring your dog's body language. Every wag, bark, growl, or whimper is a valuable piece of communication from your furry friend. Dogs can't speak our language, but they certainly have a language of their own, and it's primarily expressed through their body. When you ignore these signals, you're essentially turning a blind eye to your dog's attempts to communicate with you. A wagging tail, for instance, could mean they're happy. A lowered head might suggest they're scared or anxious. Understanding these cues is essential for their comfort and safety. It helps you respond appropriately, whether that's giving them space, comforting them, or playing with them when they're in a playful mood. Ignoring body language can lead to misunderstandings and even mishaps. It's like ignoring a friend when they're trying to tell you something important. So pay attention, learn, and respond to your dog's body language. It will strengthen your bond and make for a happier, healthier pet. Remember, communication is a two-way street. Almost there at number two is lack of socialization. Life isn't just about fetch and belly rubs. Dogs are social creatures that thrive on interaction. Just like humans, they need exposure to different environments, people, and other dogs to develop social skills and confidence. Socializing your dog can help prevent behavioral issues such as fear, aggression, and anxiety. It's crucial to start this process early, preferably when they're puppies. But don't worry, it's never too late to teach an old dog new tricks. Here's a tip to get started. Take your dog on walks in different environments, like parks or busy streets. This exposes them to a variety of sights, sounds, and smells, which can help them adapt to new situations. Let them meet other dogs and people, but always under controlled conditions to ensure safety. Remember, a well-socialized dog isn't just happier, they're healthier. So, get out there and make some new friends. And finally, at number one, we have neglecting mental stimulation. Dogs, much like humans, require regular mental exercise to remain alert and healthy. A well-stimulated mind makes for a happy, less destructive, and better-behaved pet. There are countless ways to keep your furry friend mentally active. You could use puzzle toys filled with treats, teach them new tricks, or even play interactive games together. Mental stimulation is not merely about keeping your dog entertained. It's about enhancing their overall well-being. Dogs that don't get enough mental stimulation can become bored and frustrated, which can lead to behavioral issues such as excessive chewing, barking, or digging. It can also lead to depression and lethargy in some cases. Remember, a dog's mind is a terrible thing to waste. As pet owners, it's our responsibility to ensure that our dogs are not only physically healthy, but also mentally stimulated. So keep those minds sharp and engaged. And, and there you have it, the 10 things you should never do to your dog. We've walked through the importance of regular exercise and the dangers of overfeeding, We've highlighted the necessity of dental care and the value of regular vet visits. 
we've discussed the impact of neglecting training and the harm in leaving our canine companions alone for extended periods. Our journey also took us through the damaging effects of yelling or physical punishment, the significance of paying attention to body language, and the need for consistent socialization. Finally, we underscored the critical role of mental stimulation in keeping our dogs healthy and happy. These 10 points serve as a roadmap to better canine care, ensuring our dogs lead fulfilling lives. Remember, a healthy and happy dog is a well-cared-for dog. Thank you for watching and take care of your furry friends.